so let's tap the spacebar and go to the front panel and I want to right click on the object and go to face and then I'm going to select all the faces on the left side of the model and then press delete then I'll move my mouse over the uh, faces on the right side and go to object mode I'll make sure the object is selected and then I'm going to go to edit and then down to duplicate special and over to this options box for geometry type make sure you check instance and then under scale make sure this is set to negative one for scale X and then you can hit apply and then close all right let's go back to the perspective panel I'm gonna select the original object right here and I'll right click go to face select the bottom face right here that's kind of at an angle and I'll hit extrude once use the blue arrow to go down and then I'm gonna hit R for my scale tool I'm gonna to scale down along the Y axis right here and then I'm gonna hit W and move in we just kinda of wanna match up with the reference so now I'm just going to take a look at the leg. Let's see, I'll hit F to frame it. And we want to make sure that we have a square shape before we continue to extrude this leg down. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit extrude, go down, and then move over a little bit. And then I'll hit extrude again. I'll go down to here maybe. And then move over. and then I'll hit extrude one more time and this is going to be the heel area move over slightly okay so right in here this edge loop right here I'm going to move this up a little bit so that it's where the knee should be and then let's go to the perspective panel and let's select this face right here at the bottom in the front and we'll extrude this out for the foot and I'm gonna do that over here in the side panel so I'll hit extrude go out basically to this edge in the pattern where the toes meet the foot and then I'll extrude out one more time and then I'm gonna come in I'll hit Q right click go to vertex and I'll select these vertices and move them down here and I'll come in and individually move these guys around and let's see I'm gonna move the whole this whole line right here so from the waist all the way down to the bottom of the heel. I'm going to move all this stuff back a little bit and then I'm going to take um, these these two um, this row of vertices here in the middle of the leg and scale them in a little bit and then I'll take this row right here and scale this in even more All right, let's see here. I'm going to go to this face in the back, and I'm going to extrude it out, scale it in. And I'm going to select this edge towards the bottom right here, scale that in even more. take a look at the foot in the front here so in the drawing here the foot kind of comes out at an angle and the foot is is pretty large and for this modeling process I'm choosing to follow the drawing in the side panel because I think it's more important than the front view so I'm just gonna ignore this part of the drawing here because I don't really need it and it's not it doesn't match up with the side panel and I'm placing more um, emphasis on this side panel because it's it's more useful to me uh, when creating the, the what I need for the foot in this 3D model. 
Okay, I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and select these vertices here, and I'm going to scale them all together. The same thing over here. And I'm just going to select the these vertices here, basically in the front of the foot. And I'm going to move them out further a little bit, and then hit R and scale them out. And then, let's see here, I'll take the vertices that are in the very front of the foot and scale them in a little bit. And for now, I'm going to leave the, the foot the way it is. Now, I'm going to add um, one more edge loop. So I'm going to go up to Edit Mesh and then Insert Edge Loop Tool. And I'm going to add an edge loop that goes right through the middle of the leg in the front right here. So I'll just click basically on his knee, click and drag, and just try and set that edge loop right in the middle. And now I need to go in and kind of shape this. So I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. I'm going to select four edges. Actually, this will be eight edges because we've got an edge loop going through the middle here. Basically, I'm selecting the four corners of the leg. And I'll hit R, and I'm going to scale in on the Z axis and scale in on the X axis. I'll push that even further, I think, yeah. So you'll see in this video, I'll spend quite a bit of time tumbling around the model, and I'm checking to see if I've got the basic shape. That I want a good foundation for this character. So I'm not focused on detail right now. I'm focused on the general shape of the leg, and I want to get that shape correct in this initial stage when I have just a few edge loops. Because if I have twice the amount of edge loops and I need to make a change to the general shape of the leg, it's going to take me quite a bit of time. And I'll scale a little bit further on Z here. Okay, let's leave the legs the way they are for now. And let's start with the arms. So I'm going to select, I'm going to come in here and select this face right here. And I'm going to hit extrude and go out. And then I'm going to tap the space bar and go to my front panel. And over here, I'm going to change something. We're not going to extrude out again along this face. I'm going to switch. So I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. And then I'm going to right click, go to vertex. I'm going to move this set of vertices right here in the bottom corner. Move them up and move these kind of over. I'm going to move this out a little bit. I'll take this set right here and move that up a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to hit I'm going to right click go to face, select this face and now now we'll extrude the arm out. So I'll hit extrude, use the blue arrow and let's just move this up a little bit. I'm going to hit R and scale this together to kind of straighten it out. Scale in. And then I'll move this further. So we're going to kind of divide the we'll stop approximately where the elbow is for his arm. And then I'll hit extrude again and go out to the wrist. And let's scale this in a little bit here. I'll go up. And let's um, hit extrude one more time. Go out just a tiny bit more. All right, so right now when I'm looking at the arm, I can see that it's very rectangular. We want it to be more of a 
of a square shape as the arm goes out. It's not round yet, but it will be round. So let's just select all of these faces on the arm here, hit R, and let's scale it in. And then over here, I'm going to right click, go to vertex, select all these vertices where the wrist is. And I'm going to hit R and scale these all along the y-axis and kind of make a rectangular shape. So we want where the bicep is, we kind of want more of a square shape and then to when we get to where the wrist is, we want more of a rectangular shape. So I might come in here and go to face, select these faces and bring them in even more or maybe scale up on y a little bit. All right. So now let's try and round out this arm a little bit. So let's add an edge loop going through here. So I'll go up to Edit Mesh and then Insert Edge Loop Tool. And I'm going to add an edge loop right in the middle of the arm right here. And then what you can see is that edge loop not only goes through the arm, but it also goes through the head. And it goes all the way down the torso and through the leg. So what this means is whenever we add a new edge loop, we have to take that new geometry and round it out. So for example, right here, we don't want to leave the leg the way it is. We kind of rounded it out already, but we've got this new edge loop here, which means that these edges need to be pushed out. Whenever we add a new edge, a new face, we need to move it or shape it to give ourselves um, a, better, a better model so that when we smooth it out, the smoothing result looks correct. So since we are working on the arm, let's finish working on the arm, and then we'll go to the leg, and then we'll do the head. So I'm going to select all of these edges here on the top of the arm, and then on the bottom here. I'll hit R, and I'll scale them up. All right, now I'm going to add a second edge loop. So let's go insert edge loop tool. And I'm going to add an edge loop going through the front of the arm, the length of the arm in the front here. So I'll just add an edge loop right in here. Now this edge loop only goes through the arm because when we extruded out the shoulder, I then took that face and moved it up. So now when we do this edge loop, it only goes through just the arm. And that's great because we don't need additional edge loops on the leg anymore. So I'm going to hit Q and unselect these edges on the shoulder. And now I'm just going to hit R and I'm, I will scale out the edges on the arm here to kind of round the shape out. All right, I'm going to take the whole thing now. I'm going to select all of these edges and scale it in a little bit. Let's check over here in the front. Scale this along Y as well. All right, let's go back to perspective. Scale again along the Z axis. So again, where the uh, shoulder is, it should be pretty round. And then where the wrist is, it should be more of an oval shape. So if we look here at these edge loops, this edge loop right here should be pretty round. This edge loop right here, although it doesn't go all the way around, but this area should be pretty round. But over here at the wrist, let's take a look at this edge loop. That should be more of an oval shape. Okay, let's take a look at our model here in the side view. And I'm going to just um, hit Q, right click, go to vertex, and I'm going to select this vertex right here because I think, yeah, 
I'm just going to move this out just a little bit. So even though um, I talked about this edge loop being round, I'm just moving that out a little bit because that affects the chest right here. So I don't want to push that too far in. All right, let's go in and I'm going to go to the torso here and I'm going to select the edges on the torso on both sides here. Hit F. I'm going to push them in. And I'm going to select the edges here and push them in. So because we have this new edge loop here, that forces me to change the geometry around that edge loop. I either have to take this edge and go out, or I have to take these two edges and go in to round out this line right here. Because before, it was perfectly straight. So whenever we add new geometry, we need to round the surface. I'll push this in a little bit. I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and take this and push it out. And let's take this vertex as well. I'm going to move this out a little bit. All right, I'm going to select the set of vertices over here and go up just a tiny bit. All right, so we have rounded most of the arm, torso, leg, and basically, actually, let's take a look at the foot real, real quick. I'll select these vertices and hit. Oh, you know, it looks that's not too bad. Well, we can take these edges out right here a little bit, and right here. And then I'm actually going to right click, go to vertex, bring this in a little. And I'll take these two vertices here, bring those in. Okay, so we've got our extra edge loop up here on the head. So let's take a look at this. Uh, just double click on that edge loop right there. So instead of moving that edge loop, I'm going to select these three edges here. And I'm going to move them over a little bit. And now if we look at the top of the head, we just rounded. So before, this is what we had. We had a straight line right here. And then I move these edges over here, and I just round out this curve a little bit. All right, this is a good place to save. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As, and I'm going to save this as Miniman Stage 2.